Another dominant performance from the Beard Tuesday night, leading the Rockets to a road win over the Trailblazers, snapping Portland's 13-game win streak, which makes Harden our adrenaline performer, brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places. He dropped 42 points, made five of seven threes, and Coach Mike D'Antoni said some very high praise for Harden, calling him the best offensive player I've ever seen and saying it's impossible to guard him. Harden's having a monster season. I think we'd all agree that he's got a decent hold on that MVP award, but Robin, would you actually consider him the best player in the NBA? No, I, I wouldn't, <laughs> and, and I think that's part of the conversation. Yeah. Not only do I think no one really considers him the best player, I don't think anyone considers him the second best player in the NBA, though his stats over the last several years are remarkably similar to Kevin Durant's. The reason for that, I, I think there's a few. One, he hasn't had the extended playoff run as the guy. Two, some people don't love the way he sort of manipulates the officials a little bit in how he plays his game. What D'Antoni says, though, might be correct. I mean, he's the best isolation player in the NBA. I'll, I'll say that because he can beat you at the three, he can beat you with the drive, he can pass, and he can draw those fouls. But I don't think anyone has more at stake this playoff run than James Harden. Because if he goes out there and plays the way he has all season and the Rockets do what many think they can do, he will elevate his status. And then we will be talking about James Harden, if not as the best player in the NBA, as the second best player in the NBA. Yeah, it's definitely a really interesting conversation because I think that most people who watch the NBA a lot would agree. We all know James Harden, the front runner here, but I think most people would not, I don't know if anybody would have him as the best player in the NBA. That's LeBron James, according to me. You could definitely make an argument for Kevin Durant. Like you said, I don't think that people would have him in the in the top two. But again, with this with this award, it's definitely not for that person. And it's a it's a stat award. So we see this every year that it does there's always a reason to not give it to LeBron, well, I think is what I'm trying to say well, in we, the we've... most <laughs> roundabout way possible.